what we got here. My dad gave me an old, this is probably from the 1920s. This is from a dairy around here, a milking stool. What's cool about it is you have these three legs. The reason for the three legs is so that you can do like this. You lean forward, you lean back. I think I'm sinking in the dirt though. It feels like I'm interacting with history. You know, it's 100 years old. Who knows how many people sat on this thing, what they thought, what they milked. Unfortunately, it's sinking in this dirt and it's a little lower because I bet it's designed for being level with the cow. My cow's on a stanchion that is higher off the ground. So I need the bucket, but you know what this would be perfect for? The kiddos. You see that tall grass in there? Chickens don't really love it. Doesn't seem like they mind it, but they're never gonna work it down and we want this to be a garden area. So let's get them some help. Ideally, we'd done this before the chickens are in there, but better late than never. Hold on, Lily, we need a feed pan because the cows don't need to be getting the chickens grain, you understand? Let's put a feed pan inside the chicken coop. Why did the rid of the hand too big? That's good, you got it in two, so they don't, one pig, get it all. Let's go, Violet. I got a job for you. Not in there, it's not in there. Why are you going in there? <laughs> she goes right in. Good girl, good girl. Hey, let her be curious. Oh, look. Good. Look, Mr. Brown, she's already doing what the chickens can't do. Taking it down up top. Okay, now open up the chickens. Let's see how they interact. Let them free. Let them out. Let them out. It's okay. They're in no rush. Fly's not that dangerous. No, she's perfectly safe. But it's them roughing it. Yeah, yeah. That's the reason we don't go out there. Did you put the feed in there, Jonah? Yeah, yeah, only one. Season. Well, there's plenty of food out here, actually. Look at that one. They're probably good in this paddock for a few days anyway. Hey, next, and we only have like 20 minutes, we want to put the pigs out on pasture. You ready? Let's get all animals out on pasture. I hear them. You hear them, Mr. Brown? You guys ready? You been trained on your electric fence? I think so. Hey, why do we only have three of these corner posts? That's all there were, we saw. Oh, I know, there's more. There's gotta be at least one more. Over here. Don't worry about the string trimmer yet. Let's do a corner right here again. Just put that in the ground. Look how lucky we got Jonah. The posts ended up being right there exactly where we wanted. That's crazy. You're making those go down? That's good. That's handy. Go do that over on the... Others. Go do it on that one. There you go. Oh, look. Josiah got it down. Oh, he took it off the top of the pole. Yeah. Boy, Josiah, I don't think you're having a problem getting them out. They're charging the gate right now. See how high that is? You can... You can move these down. That's handy. That might not be the right post for the, that. Take it over there now and lure them out. I don't think you'll have a problem. Just put that on the other side until you're done. I'm ready to let them loose. Lily, you might want to move. They charge. <laughs> go, go forward. Piggy piggies. Oh, they found them a fret. They found, they missed, somehow missed the avocado last night. All right, just uh, get their attention. <laughs> go, go show it to him, show it to him, show it to him. Hey, don't scare him, Jonah, don't scare him. Put it right there, just uh, put it right there. Wow, I thought they'd come right to your feet.
Let's go back out, Violet. Come on. Let's go out. I'm here to shade off because isn't it cool right there, Papa? Yeah. It's noon. I'm taking Violet back out. It's getting hot right there. So we're going to let her back out with Stud Muff and he's getting antsy for her anyway. Come over here. Take a break from your cooking. Look what's on the screen. Puppy. These are your three choices. Yeah, you want to get yeah, one? Yeah, we're going to get one. Okay, which one do you want to get? Let's look at them, okay? This one is Trumpet. And I want that one. Well, hold on, wait. <laughs> she uh, loves She loves to bark. She loves to talk. Oh, maybe we don't want So, <laughs> I don't know if we want Trumpet. And then this one is Lufa. And Big Fluff and Super Independent. And then this one is Socks, Very Laid Back and Friendly. That one. Yeah, that one. Oh, and it sucks because it's got a white. Because it's got white, white feet. feet. Yeah. yeah. Which one y'all like? Socks. Socks. You guys like socks. You guys like the friendly one, huh? I, I do not like trumpet. <laughs> no, not not trumpet, not for sure. I like the one. Trumpet. I like the one. You like those? That one's like cute. One They're all cute. It's these? true. We're getting a puppy, livestock guardian dog, Anatolian Shepherd. Always wanted one of those. When's it happening, Beauty? It's gonna happen the first week of June. Let's do this. There's a video of them, guys. Oh, yeah? You don't say. Evening chore time. Two chicks are out at the goose posse. Three right here. Oh look, that'll do it. There's a hole right there in this old nest box. Well, they jump up into the nest box and then down and out. We got to do something about that tonight. The sea monsters are hungry. Let's give them some food. How's the goose doing in here, Josiah? She make it all right? You make it all right? You bond them with them? Put her down. Put her down. Let's see if she goes to them. Where was she? She's out there. She's eating. I think she's used to him already. What do you think? He's yeah. probably Look what came in the mail today. Very hard to get on a waiting list. That's a taller, non poppable tire. Flat free. You, you, we might need that now because I didn't think about the goose for the meat shawl. Mm. I think the the sea monsters can fit under there. Well, I think we got one. We we'll, got we got a set for the we got yeah. a set for all of the. Chicks. I know. I was hoping the smaller wheel would work, but we might need the big one just to get the goose under there. Well, now they're back in stock. Look at that! I love that. It's huge. Back at this garden area, gonna finish broad forking. Got over halfway done. It looks like yesterday. Let's finish that right now. Hopefully, we'll plant this thing this evening. We're ready to plant. What are you guys putting in the ground? Onions. Onions, Onions and what else? Um, then we're going to do like spaghetti squash, pumpkins, things like that. Joni, you put our plates around each plant that mom's putting in the ground. I'm gonna go get the mulch. Mom's giving our paper plates a boost by soaking it in her special compost tea. It's getting dark, but we have to move these sheep and fix the poultry pen. Let's do it. All right, Mr. Brown, best part of the sheep's day too, buddy. Oh. They know. See it? Yeah. I'm gonna act like a sheep and see if they fall for it.
We got one last thing to do. It's almost dark. Quickest solution possible. We'll probably just rip off that nesting box eventually and patch it up. Before I do this, I want to share with you guys something. It's from you guys. It's from other people who are actually in my Do It Yourself Abundance member area. They have access to over 100 videos. Private Facebook group. I've talked enough about it. It's their turn to talk. Look what they're getting out of it. This is a farmer and I'm Cien. We're from St. Fiacro's Farm. We wanted to share with you a few ways that the Abundant Permaculture Membership Group has helped us on our farm and our family and with our business. We have a two acre farm and we're in our 42 foot long greenhouse right now. And thanks to Justin Rhodes and the membership area, we started using soil blocks to start our seeds. Soil blocking has saved us time and money and it's gained us a lot more abundance in our garden. The membership areas also helped us out in our business. We hand blend artist and loose leaf teas and we grow some of those things here on the farm. And right here are some bachelor buttons and we use those in our tea. This is a time saving thing for us because we were buying those local and it's going to save us money planting our own along with the soil blocking saves us even more money when we do our planting. We also learned from the Rhodes family how to move our chickens into our garden and rotate them through so that they're doing the work, they're manuring, they're composting, and they're tilling for us, saving us more time and money. The Abundant Permaculture Group has shown us that we can farm and garden with our family and have fun while doing it. So if you want to learn great new things, you want to have fun doing it, and you want to save time and money, the Abundant Permaculture Group is definitely a time and money saver. <laughs> Hi, Denise here from the suburbs of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Yes, I live in the suburbs and I am dreaming of my own homestead and we've been searching for a long time. Um, so in the meantime, hello Lena, I've become uh, <laughs> an Abundant Permaculture member and recently a premium member for which I am so grateful. Um, and although I've learned so much from the vlogs which have improved my gardens and my confidence, um, being part of the membership, here's one of the main benefits that we've experienced as a family. The membership area helped us save this little girl's life. She got really sick a few months ago, and so I turned immediately to the community and said, what's wrong with my hen? Um, and people said, looks like she's got sauerkraut. And I was like, a sauerkraut, what's that? And what do I do? And th the resources came and the support came and, and the you know links to videos on what to do. And I, I followed everybody's advice and, and look at her. She's here alive and well and laying eggs and clucking around and helping us grow our food. Right, Lena? She's a happy hen. And, um, and that's the Abundant Permaculture membership area that saved her life. So we're very grateful to be part of this family. And that's what it is, it's a family. We support each other through our hard times and we celebrate together the good times. And uh, come and join us, because it's so worth it. It's amazing! Thank you, Justin and Rebecca, for making that available to all of us. It's super windy today, so I hope you can hear what I'm saying. But I wanted to give a special thanks to the Abundant Permaculture Group for helping me out. Um, this year I'm starting my first ever garden. And it's super exciting. I'm walking to the community plot now. As you can see behind me, there's tons of tons of room to plant. Um, it was $20 per plot, which was a pretty good deal. This is my plot right here. It is a 20 foot by 20 foot square garden. Um, and I'm doing rows of pretty much just a bunch of stuff. Lettuce, tomatoes, onions, beets. A lot of things. Eggplants, some flowers, and uh, while I was in the Abundant Permaculture Group, you guys gave me some great tips on how I should uh, plant out my garden. You know, companion planting as well as um, other great beneficial things. So thank you guys so much for helping me also with the wood chips. Um, and just, I know that I'm learning so much from being in that group and I really appreciate all of your guys' help. Hi, I'm Brad Wood, also known as Farmer Brad, and thanks to the Abundant Permaculture members, I was able to work with them to brainstorm in order to get my electric fence working better for fence training my lambs. Carts open on that until May 27th, 10 p.m. Eastern time, then spring registration closes, not open it again until fall. And then when we come back in the fall, we've added so much value, we're gonna have to raise the price a bit. So get in there now while you can. We got, it's nice and intimate. 
Hope to see you on that side. I'm just tightening these screws up. But okay, they won't you tighten. Tight. Okay, thank you. Here, just uh, will you hold this up for me? Oh, All right, we got it stapled on there. We got those planted in mulch bonds. Successful day, big day. Hopefully, we've got a few more things to plant there tomorrow, like big pumpkins. <laughs>